My name is Dr. Kurt Belk, and I'm a board-certified emergency physician and the medical director of the Urgency Room. I want to thank you for choosing us as your health care provider. The following video offers follow-up care instructions to your recent visit. I'm Dr. Brad Williams, a board-certified emergency physician. You've been evaluated today and diagnosed with cellulitis. Cellulitis is an inflammation and infection of the skin caused by bacteria. The bacteria enter the skin through areas of skin breakdown, such as scrapes, cuts, or ingrown hairs. Oftentimes, the initial skin trauma that allows the bacteria to enter your skin seems minor or goes unnoticed. Symptoms generally include redness, swelling, warmth, and pain. Your doctor may have asked for lab work to determine the seriousness of the infection and it's possible you have received a dose of antibiotics through an IV while at the urgency room. Fortunately, your doctor determined that your infection can be treated at home with antibiotics. Please, start taking your antibiotics right away and take them exactly as prescribed. Be sure to finish the entire prescription, even if you're feeling better. If you take good care of your injury at home, it will help you heal faster. You can apply a heating pad or warm packs to the affected area for 15 minutes at least three times a day. Don't sleep with a heating pad as this can cause burns or skin injury. And if you have diabetes, please don't use a heating pad on your feet or legs. Rest and elevate the affected area above the level of your heart as much as possible for the next one to two days. To help reduce pain and fever or to make you feel more comfortable your healthcare provider may have directed you to take Tylenol, Motrin, or other pain relievers. Use them as directed by your healthcare provider and please ask your doctor if you have questions. Cellulitis occasionally develops into more serious infections. Return to the urgency room right away if you notice any new or worse symptoms. Watch for redness, swelling, or pain that gets much worse. If you are unable to take your antibiotic, you are feeling more ill or lightheaded or develop a new fever that's more than 101 degrees, come see us as soon as possible. If you see a red line or a red streak under your skin, it means your infection is worse, but it does not mean the infection will reach your heart. If the redness passes the initial area where the wound occurred or jumps over a joint, you need to come back in. For instance, if the injury is on your calf and you see redness above your knee, or if you injured your hand and you see redness in your wrist, that means the infection has jumped a joint and we may admit you to a hospital. If you get cellulitis and are sedentary or have another chronic illness such as diabetes or cancer, or if your immune system is compromised, you have a higher risk of cellulitis turning into a more serious infection. To ensure that your infection is healing, make a follow-up appointment with your regular doctor within two to three days. And remember, if you have any questions or can't get in to see your doctor, come see us anytime. We're here to help. These videos are intended to provide helpful health information to the general public. They are not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice. You should not use this information to diagnose or treat health problems. And you should not use these videos in place of a call or visit to a medical professional. Talk with your physician about the proper treatment for your particular condition and always follow your physician's advice. If you think you need an ambulance or are experiencing a medical emergency, please dial 911 immediately.